Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Cameron and I'm from Smart Business Solutions. Today I'll be going through how to process subcontractor super through zero payroll. As you can see here, I'm in the demo company. Um, the first step we will take is creating a payroll calendar for this subcontractor super. Here we'll go into our settings and into our payroll settings. Calendars and add our calendar. Our pay period, we can do this from any period. This one I will choose monthly and I will name it monthly subcontractors. Our start date I'm going to put to the start of the year and our Payment date will be at the end of the month. We can see we have created our monthly subcontractors pay calendar. Now we will ensure our employee is set up for that pay calendar. Bob Smith is an employee I've created, just filling in the details under our employment. We will add his employment details. Here he is a contractor. Uh, it can be either labour hire or non-employee depending on your situation. For this instance I will choose non-employee and add their ABN. Our start date we are going to put to the 1st of January and select the subcontractor payroll calendar. I will then add his superannuation membership. Here it will be Hester and his member number. And then we will save. After the save, I would suggest updating his pay template. Here we will add the superannuation line as a fixed amount. Here you will put your expense account and liability accounts for your superannuation. Here I'm using the default superannuation and superannuation payable accounts and the payment frequency has set. Here we can see that his Hester Super has come through with a blank fixed amount. We will save this pay template. Next we will go to our payroll. Here we will add a pay run for our monthly subcontractors being January. Here we can see that Bob is included. We will go into Bob's pay run. Here we will add his super that we need to pay him. In this case I will pay Bob $100 worth of super. We will save this pay run and close out of his personal pay run. As we can see here, the total pay run is just Bob's superannuation of 100 and we can see Bob's superannuation of 100 here as well. Next, we will post this pay run. And there we go, that is how we post superannuation for subcontractors using zero payroll. If you found this video helpful then please like and subscribe and we have many other videos related to zero in our channel um, with more to come in the future. If you have any questions feel free to reach out, out to us via one of the contact details on the screen now. Thank you very much.